What is up, people of the interwebs? This is Will, also known as Wackadoo, and welcome to this week's Friday Free Fall with the Scorpion. And the class setup for the Scorpion is on the screen right now, and thank you to David, also known as You'll Get Pwned, for giving me this class setup. It was a very challenging one. Um, I'm used to a Scorpion being fully auto, and the burst fire really put me off, and it took me, I think it was three maybe four games for me to actually get where uh, to get the win so guys if you got any class setups leave them in the comments below and any good ones and challenging ones I will use in a later video and another thing before I get on to uh, the topic today if you guys could go check out subscriber fight which I uploaded yesterday on my channel that would be amazing this is a new series that I started and that I'm going to continue um, where you guys, the subscribers, can come in, compete against each other in crazy game modes, crazy game rules, have some fun, and play Call of Duty in a different way. So if you're interested in seeing or watching more about that, then click on the icon on the video right now and go check it out, because it was so fun making it. The players that competed in it had so much fun, and they were all happy with it and I'm happy with it so go check that out guys it'll be really awesome uh, not just for me but for you as well because you might have the opportunity to compete so go ahead click that icon and uh, check out the video there'll be one at the end of this video um, as well now today's topic I want to quick talk about um, the Black Ops 2 DLC and I want to bring this up because as you can see on screen now I'm using a new camo um, that was voted for. I believe it was. Um, I can't. Oh, I can't remember the. Can't remember the camos. It was the dragon one and cyborg. Cyborg was the other one. And this is the cyborg camo one now, which I think looks nice. It's the better one out of the two. But a lot of people are not happy with the fact that oh, we have to pay for these camos and stuff. And at first I was thinking, at the end of the day, it's not game changing whether you have a camo or not anyway. So to me, it didn't really matter to me whether I had to pay for it or not. And oh, when I saw these people going on about how they've had to pay for a camo, I'm just thinking, well, they didn't really say anything about camo when we bought the DLC. What they did say was, oh, you can have weapons, or you can have a weapon, the Peacekeeper, um, and a couple of maps and zombie stuff. The cam the camos weren't mentioned. Um, and so, in that respect, I'm thinking, well, if we have to pay for it, it's only a little bit, it's not too bad. But now my opinion has changed, and I do think that for these camos, season pass holders sh should be able to get them free. And there's a reason for it. R really, I find that... Um, each person that has bought a season pass, especially for the DLC, like all the time, has in one respect been ripped off. And I say that because the reason why I bought the season pass was not to play new maps. It was not to play new maps. I did not want to just buy a load of terrible maps that, to start off with, aren't that good anyway. The reason why I bought the DLC or the season pass is because I was excited and was it was a great feeling to know that I'd be able to use different guns on Call of Duty and new guns would come out every single DLC but I feel like I've been ripped off because they've now turned around and said and we all know this has been a, this has been um, known for a couple of months that the Peacekeeper was the only DLC and I feel very ripped off about that. I still feel ripped off about it. And I'm just thinking, this is the reason I bought the season pass. I didn't buy the season pass just to play maps that you still can't sort out and do good spawn system on. And actually have different maps that aren't always the same layout. I got it for the weapons. And then they go and say that. So I feel ripped off. Um, and the other thing is, is that these camos... You ripped us off already, and you still expect people to pay 
for a camo. You should be giving us weapon DLC to start off with. And yet you don't bother with weapon DLC. But you bother putting camos in. Camos that mean very little. Really annoyed me that did. And I do think that Treyarch should be going, do you know what? We've kind of ripped them off. We should be giving these camos to season pass holders for free. So I'm on now on board with all the season pass people that are not happy with the fact that they're having to pay for all this camo stuff. I am now with you. So anyway, that was cut. So it turned into a rant, which in one respect I didn't want, but I think it was needed to be said. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, go check out Subscriber Fight and all these other videos on screen right now. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.